Hi everyone! So, it's been a long time since I last recorded these vlogs, and quite a bit has happened in that time. I think it's been like two weeks, maybe three weeks since I last recorded. Um, and I, there was kind of a reason for that. I really needed to just like focus on um, finding a job and, you know, getting my life together and everything, and so like, I just wanted to really focus on that and have no distractions. This was a distraction that I felt like I could get rid of. And But now that I've got everything figured out, I'm back. So, um, let's start with this. I've gotten two jobs now. I'm working uh, for Goodwill as office work, um, which is fantastic. I'm so excited. This is a job that will pay well, offers great benefits, and it'll just be fantastic for the future because the other job that I have is only part-time seasonal, so like that's going to run out a little after the first of the year. So I've got two new jobs, and I have gotten my first paycheck from the first one, which is wonderful. So I went out with my friend Sophia to get some makeup and she tried on some dresses for an event that we're both going to called Snowball, which is Seattle's um, kind of like banquet thing uh, for transgender allies, LGBTQ people, um, politicians come and so it's kind of our I should R as in transgender um, formal event at the end of every year. So that's next couple weeks and that should be a lot of fun to head to. So another thing that happened while I was on this hiatus, if you don't know, I'm a singer-songwriter. I uh, kind of made my living in Michigan a little bit, um, playing music and stuff like that. Um, and so just uh, acoustic folk music, you know, very gentle stuff. So I don't really have, like, screaming to hide the fact that I have a low singing voice. Um, so for me, singing is the hardest thing of transitioning because it's something I've worked on for my entire life, essentially. And I've perfected it, and I've established a beautiful singing voice and now I have to deal with singing like a male while looking like a female but I got past that fear a little bit for the first time for the very first time I went up on stage and as myself and did a little show at an open mic. So I went with a friend, her name was Lydia. I question that because she just changed her name. She's also trans. She and I have now made it like a weekly tradition. We're gonna go to an open mic every Tuesday night and just sing and play guitar and stuff like that. Um, if you're in the area, it's Q Cafe over in Queen Anne. Stop by, say hi if you want. Tuesday nights at like 6.30, I think. Yeah, 6.30. So, with all that said, there's one thing that is the biggest news, perhaps. And remember how I was saying earlier I was out with Sophia and we were getting uh, makeup and dresses and things for the upcoming snowball? Well, we were also doing another thing, too. Uh, she and I, today, both started hormones. What? So, uh, yeah, we started hormones today. I went to the doctor and um, a couple or a couple days ago, and got my prescription for estradiol and Spiro. When I got my blood work done to start it, I was actually at a very low T level already to begin with. So, <laughs> that's a really, really great thing to start. Um, so the changes are going to come 
quickly, they're going to happen fast, faster, rather, and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I started hormones today. I'm so happy. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of my life right now. Um, that's it for right now. I'll probably do another vlog maybe next week. It's kind of slowed down. My, my life is starting to actually get, like, situated and established. And it's a good thing that's happening finally. Um, so, like, next week I'll probably have some stuff to talk about. Um, and other than that, that's about it. So, I... Thanks. See ya.